I do have that saying, friends, que van a comer rico, and today, van a comer rico, which means... Hello, and welcome to Not My Kitchen. Thank you, Cloud, for sharing your space with us. As many of you know, I have gone through some life changes, but I'm in great spirits and super excited to present this breakfast soup recipe with you. But first, we have to roast this delicious Anaheim pepper. Let's roast our pepper until it's nice and charred. Many of you don't have access to an Anaheim. You can use a poblano, you can use a bell pepper. Remember to always make it comfortable for your home. Once you roast your Anaheim, and not in that kind of way, friends, a nice way, you're gonna take your Anaheim. I like to place it in a container recently and just let it sweat for a few minutes. It can be anywhere from three to five minutes, and then we're gonna peel and chop. Let me show you what else you're gonna to need to make the sopita. I'll be using pork chorizo, and if you don't have access to chorizo, you can use some uh, ground pork, your breakfast sausage. Make sure it doesn't have any maple flavoring in it. Or you can use our recipe for chorizo, which I'll link in the description area. Potato, onion, cilantro, butter, black pepper, Mexican oregano, and your bouillon of choice. What are you using today? Today I'm using better than bouillon. Uh, and it's a chicken bouillon that we'll be using. But if you have some chicken broth, you can use that instead of the bouillon. It's gonna be up to you, amigos. And heavy whipping cream. If you don't have heavy whipping cream, you can make this with a half and half or some milk. I just feel that you get a, a lot fluffier when you use the heavy whipping cream. Add your heavy whipping cream and let's get this cracking. Ooh, a good egg. We're all good eggs. <laughs> we are. You just get influenced to do bad things, amigos. Nothing's really bad. And nothing's really good. Mm -mm. Just be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Once you crack your eggs, it's time to beat it. And friends, make sure to beat it, beat it, because no one wants to be defeated. Soup. Yep, the leg's shaking, friends. Watch out now. <laughs> <laughs> you got the hook on it. You may not have your diamond glove, but you have your red polished thumb. You know, friends, we're all going through it. I'm trying to find some nail polish remover. Okay, <laughs> bear with me. We're getting there. And you just want to chop your potato into small little cubes. If your family likes them round, go with round. You know what they say, right, Cloud? What? Make it comfortable for, for your home. home. <laughs> Who's <they doing> you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean the Beast Club. They're the best. You know you catch yourself saying that to the kids for everything? <laughs> I catch myself saying it uh, in places where it doesn't belong. It belongs everywhere. It does it, it now. It really does. <laughs> A Beast Club member said they said it to one of their clients. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And boom, done. I like to place my potatoes in a bowl of water to prevent oxidation because we don't need it to get bruised up. Purple, black, we just want the nice creamy colored potato. We're going to be using half of your onion. If your family doesn't like it, don't show them this part. Just chop them up really fine. That's where the flavor comes from. Or some people have preference for green onion, right? Green or, or green, green onion. onion. Or you can omit. We, we see you onion haters. Be careful with those nuggies, friends. I think you guys are happy I got a new knife. <laughs> that was my Christmas gift. Happy Christmas. Thanks, Cloud. And boom, done. I like to get my water boiling by giving it a head start and using a kettle. A lot of the times you wonder how I can cook so quickly is because I don't have to wait eight to 10 minutes to boil my water. This will be done in about two, three minutes. Boom, done. Add it to the potatoes and watch it work, friends.
Before I start making these eggs, I want to give a quick shout out to Chef Alvin, and I'll link something in the description so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You're going to add your butter and your eggs. Steph, what temperature is your pan on? No temperature yet. And now what we're going to do is we are going to put this on a very, very low heat. If you have simmer, go with that. If you're a little rush, go with super low. And super low means barely on it. And you added cold butter? Cold, cold butter. And we're going to let this do what it does. Magic, fluffy, soft eggs on simmer. Make sure you begin to stir your eggs often. And you're still on the lowest setting, right? I am on the lowest setting at the moment. That kettle is yelling. I think it's ready. <laughs> so if you haven't meditated, this is a good time to uh, to meditate by making eggs. Yes, That's it's this way. <laughs> I, I agree. If you are in a bad mood, if you are feeling sad, if you are feeling a little lost, I think if you take this method of making the eggs, it's going to take you about eight to ten minutes. And just even if the only thing you make from this recipe is these eggs, I think you're going to feel in better spirits after. Yeah, I agree with you. It's very calming, it's very therapeutic, and I know we're all going through something. Um, and make some eggs, friends. Make some eggs. I guess I'm gonna watch this water boil. They sent me to the mandado, this is what I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ASMR you didn't know you needed. Our, I was giving our friends ASMR and then you interrupted with Monday. Sorry, friends. Sorry, this is my older sister, and I adore her, so I was listening. I love you too. Put a lid on it. Place your burner on a medium heat. Let me scoot this to the side because we are going to get started on our chorizo. To the back. You scoot it to the side, you're going to burn me. I'm sorry, Cloud. We're going to scoot <laughs> it. You know what? This is more of like that that shuffle song. What's it called? Oh, I can't think, Cloud. Which one is it? Oh, I Electric know what it slide? Is. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Place your burner on a medium heat, and you're going to add your chorizo. And while we're cooking our chorizo, we're boiling our potatoes, and we're still stirring up our eggs. And since we're cooking them on a low heat, you're not gonna get any stinkiness in your home. It's gonna take its time. You're not gonna burn the eggs. Just let it happen, I mean, just let it happen. Usually I can get it, if it's ground, I can get it with my hands and just crumble it, but I don't wanna to stain too much. But if you guys don't mind that, go ahead and, you know, uncrumble it. Yeah, the chorizo stains are the worst to take out. Oh my <laughs> they, gosh. They really are. It's so delicious, but those stains are, are I don't know. They're stains. <laughs> those of you that are experts in clearing out the manchas, let us know below. Yes, let me know in the comments how I can get rid of chile manchas and chorizo. <laughs> I'm just going to break this down, and we're going to continue to cook our chorizo for about just six to eight minutes. That's a that's a good a good time frame for you guys. Your red thumb is haunting me like the elf on the shelf. Okay, Cloud doesn't like the color red. It's taunting her. <laughs> and just like magic, we start getting those lovely eggs. And all I'm doing is folding them. I want to keep them to where I get a little bit of the chunks like this. And you'll see why in just a moment. Take your time. We're all set with our eggs. Turn your burner off. After about four minutes, you're going to add your onions. And we're going to continue to cook for another three to four minutes. And since this is going to get to that point where you get the chorizo to crisp up a bit, I'm going to place the lid over it so it doesn't pop everywhere. Ooh, we steamed up. After three to four minutes, you want to add your strained potatoes. Your water. Chili.
chicken bouillon. It looks like mustard. It's not. <laughs> but I know that it probably has turmeric in there. Right? Mm -hmm. You think? I think that so. That color? I think so. I don't know, friends. You let us know in the comments what you think. Black pepper. And we're going to bring this up to a boil and continue to cook on a medium heat for a good six minutes. We're about done here, friends. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our roasted Anaheim pepper. If you chose to go with the red bell pepper, it's gonna work. I mean, this is just, you can't go wrong with this soup. Gently drop your egg. I should have said eggs because we did use a lot of eggs here. Me encanta. Me encanta. <laughs> <laughs> I love eggs. For those of you that like a runny egg, you can just crack the egg in here or you can make it this way. And I think that for children, this makes it a little bit friendlier, but for the adults, I would definitely crack the egg just like we do when we make uh, Korean soup or when you make um, lentil soup, the Mexican lentil soup, just like that. Take your Mexican oregano. And if you don't have access to Mexican oregano, don't, don't use anything, just skip it because we're using chorizo and this really does bring the flavors uh, together. And the reason why you're not using Italian oregano is because it's mintier? It's mintier, yes. Got it. And I think it's a blend of like basil-y type thing, right? I like how we're making our own words. Yeah, friends, you already know. <laughs> you already know me. Basil-y and minty. <laughs> ooh, 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 I'm excited. And after about two minutes, friends, you have a delicious soup and we're ready to serve. All I have to do is warm up a tortilla and you can also have this with a side of biscuits. We'll link a recipe for the Mexican biscuits down below, but today I'm feeling like a tortilla. Well, I do look like a tortilla, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> you are what you eat. Mmm, that tortilla. Mm, yeah, girl, yeah. <laughs> we like charred tortillas. You can make it comfortable for your home, amigos, but we like that little extra crispy flavor, and I think it's just, I think when we were younger, we used to place the bologna on here and just, you know, <laughs> toss it over. That's right. <laughs> Let us know if you were bologna lovers when you were little, although I wasn't a lover, I was a hater, but I had to eat it. I've always been a I, lover. I, I was grateful. That's I, right. I do want to try that Tennessee uh, smoked uh, bologna. Oh, I haven't tried that. I haven't tried it either. We're, we're interested. Let us know if you guys are in Tennessee. Know what you guys think about that. I know all you see is eggs. You you want to see the bottom of what's happening. Oh, que rico. Van a comer rico. I do have that saying, friends, que van a comer rico. And today, van a comer rico, which means you are going to eat like rich people today. Delicious. You're going to eat delicious. When I hear that phrase, I run over your house sometimes with my house sandals. <laughs> <laughs> she does, friends, because I say... She says, what are you going to make today? I said, van a comer rico. <laughs> take off. <laughs> All right, friends, we need a few toppings to finish this soup. And so we can start digging in because I am getting very, very hungry. I like to top it with some cheese, a little sprinkle of cilantro. And for those of you that like to get naughty in the morning, you can add a scoop of sour cream. I'm going to keep it a little bit light today because I'm really interested in that broth and that fluffy egg. As always, Views Club and Bowel Notification Squad, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We want to thank you so much for all your lovely and kind messages. It reached our hearts. Um, it definitely made me really excited to come back and see you. And we do want to say that our upload schedule is going to be a little bit different, so make sure to subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and if you enjoy this recipe, give us some thumbs up. We enjoy those too. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios! You ready for a taste? Get some of that delicious egg. It gets really fluffy. It absorbs almost like, almost like fried tofu. But I'm going to need you to say, ah. Mm -mm -mm. This is so, so good. This soup is perfect for those of you that send your partners out. They work outside and it's really, really cold. If you want to get cozy, you want to get romantic, this is a soup for all occasion. Can I make this ahead of time? Yes, you can make this ahead of time, which is great. All I would say is add your potatoes the next day once your broth is nice and hot, but you can pre-cook those too. 
Oh, okay. I like where you're going with this. Mm-hmm. Well, friends, I'm excited to hear what you have to say. I have a lot of traditional recipes, quick and easy uh, breakfast recipes coming our way. And definitely, we're going to continue making some of the recipes we made last year because it's Mexican cooking and that's what we eat at home. So whatever I'm making at home is what we're going to eat. <laughs> mm. All I want to do is pull my ringo pants out. <laughs> <laughs> but this part about being here is I don't have to bring my Tupperware. 